Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today's topic is on blood clotting. I know at least once in your life you have received a cut or an injury and see that blood rushing from your body. Yes, I know it can be a very frightening experience. However, your body has the mechanism to reduce the excess loss of blood from your body. Now, this will be considered as the first stage in the mechanism of blood clotting. So once any blood vessel is being ruptured, bleeding will take place and blood will start flow from your body. The next thing that will happen here is that there will be a formation of a platelet plug. What this means is that platelets will rush to the area where the blood vessel is being ruptured. This will result in a high concentration of platelets within this area and the platelets will create a plug or a clog. Now, the reason for this platelet plug is to reduce the flow of blood outside of the body. The next thing that will take place here is that there will be a formation of fibrin strands. Now, fibrin strands will further reduce the flow of blood outside of the body because the fibrin strands will form a network around that area and further keep in the blood within the body. Now, this is actually the clotting of blood. Now, after this is done, then repair of that area can start taking place and also healing. Now, let's look at the blood clotting process now in a more flowchart sense. And so, inside of your blood, there, is, there are some clotting factors. And these clotting factors, they are actually proteins. Now, the clotting factors will cause the inactive blood proteins to form into prothrombin activator. Now, prothrombin activator now will be responsible to convert prothrombin into thrombin. Now, thrombin that is formed now will be responsible to convert fibrinogen into fibrin and this is where clotting will take place now let us put this all together to finish this up now again what you want to move from is the bleeding process to where clot is formed and bleeding is being prevented which means the loss of blood from your body and so take it step by step is that the first thing is that the clotting factors will convert the inactive blood proteins into prothrombin activator. The prothrombin activator will now convert prothrombin into thrombin, and the thrombin will convert fibrinogen, which is a more soluble form of protein, into fibrin, which is a more insoluble form of protein and that will reduce the flow of blood from your body. So again, I really hope you have enjoyed this short lesson and how blood is being clot. And now you know how, bl how blood is being prevented from leaving your body after a cut, after a cut or an injury. So have no more fear. Just come pressed and let the blood do its thing. See you in the next lesson. So keep safe until that time.